Hello, sweet souls. I know it's been a while since I've been on, but I finally got moved and I wanted to do a collective reading. Um, this is uh, for whoever's drawn to this. It will, will be on YouTube. So go over to um, Tasha's Divine Guidance and you can uh, watch the full reading. So let's get started. The first thing that you guys have is a passionate new beginning that's coming. Um, this is coming with a soulmate. Um, this is a love offer and um, this is after a, a period of really feeling stagnant in your life, feeling stuck, like nothing that you've done so far is working out. Um, but this is a divinely guided union, okay? You are coming out as this Nine of Pentacles, single, um, confident, financially secure on your own and not needing another soul, which is absolutely amazing, guys. This communication is coming in uh, regarding um, someone that wants to build and have a stable foundation with you, a family life. Um, security, love, support, um, someone that will be devoted to you. Um, now this comes after the end of a lot of anxiety and pain in your life, a lot of sleepless nights because of all the things that you've endured. Um, and it's not been easy. It's been um, a really hard lesson to learn. Um, but you have positive forward movement. Uh, you do have some truth and clarity in regards to the person that left you out in the cold. It's gonna happen out of nowhere. It is gonna cause you some pain. Um, it's gonna make you feel a little confused um, at a crossroads, but you're going to see that the lies and illusion from this narcissist, um, it's gonna propel you into making the choice to love yourself and to move forward in a way that is um, in alignment with your best interest. Um, you will go into a hermit mode after it happens because you're gonna self-reflect. You're gonna think about all the things that happened, um, but you're gonna have a better understanding of your path um, once this information is revealed to you. So don't be afraid of it. It's part of your healing process. It's gonna bring balance into your life. It's gonna teach you to love yourself, to value yourself, and to set higher standards for anyone that you allow into your life um, in the future. Um, and from that, you're gonna place your focus on your own financial security. Um, making enough money to help other people, building this empire all on your own. So in a way, it's a blessing because you're no longer going to be reminiscing, dwelling on um, this past pain or this past person. You're going to be able to move forward and release it and place your focus on yourself, not only on loving you, but also your financial security. And that's what brings in this soulmate. Um, someone that you've lived many lives with. Um, you may already know this person because the reunion card came out, um, but you're coming out as this strong queen of swords. Um, this could be a man or a woman, but this is you standing in your truth, not accepting less than you deserve, um, using discernment and cutting people out of your life that aren't worthy of you, uh, that doesn't deserve your time or attention or your energy, which is amazing, guys. Um, this will be a stable offer that comes in. It is a wish fulfillment. You have been praying for this type of relationship, a stable relationship. This is the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. Um, one that's going to bring you happiness. One that's going to make you feel um, loved and cherished just the way you deserve. Let's see what else we got for you guys. So you're coming out as the Empress. After all of this turmoil, all of this pain and agony, all of the stress in your life, all of the deception and betrayal, now you're coming out as the Empress. She is the embodiment of all the queens. She has gone through so much hell, this could be a man or a woman, that now she knows what her value is. She is gonna follow her own passions. She's not gonna care about what other people say or do. It doesn't matter to her because she knows what's right for her. Um, she's loving and she's kind and she's sympathetic, but she will no longer allow people to take advantage of that kindness in her, or that love inside of her. Um, and now she's graduated because of the Queen of Swords, being okay with cutting people out, standing in her truth, not explaining anything to anyone but living by her own truth and discernment, 
you've become the empress. And that's amazing. You're starting to see people that don't have your best interest in mind. You can see now the deceivers with clear eyes. The red flags are going off like crazy now. You can see with a clear vision the deceivers, the players. They don't, this is a player energy. It doesn't work for you anymore. You don't deserve it. You don't want somebody in and out of your life that just wants a good time because you know your worth now and you deserve way better than that. You have been healing, guys. You've been healing. Okay. So this is you finally being able to release the past and that brings in financial abundance for you. It's like the last hurdle, the last barrier in your life. And when this clarity comes through, that causes you a little bit of discord and unhappiness. That's like the nail in the coffin for you. There's no going back and you can release it. And then the divine brings in this financial security for you. So that's amazing, guys. It's amazing. So when this offer comes in, this also could be apology if it's someone from your past. Maybe you had um, some sort of relationship with them. Um, you know, they may come forward and give you an apology or a small offer. Um, the divine is saying, yes, this is a soul union, but you have to listen to your intuition. Is this person in alignment with you? Are they at your level? Because if they're not, then they're, they're not ready to be in union with you. And we can't accept them unless they're, they're at our level. This person does want to fight for you, though. They want to fight for you. They're coming out of a toxic energy. This can be a past toxic relationship that they were in, or that this can be them realizing that, that they have had toxic patterns in their life, whether this is addictions or just patterns that aren't um, healthy for them. And they are coming out again as a soulmate. They're trying to have strength to come forward towards you and, and take this leap of faith. Have this new beginning with you. They've been stuck in their head, going back and forth. Should I, shouldn't I? Will this person want me? Have they forgiven me? They do watch. They watch you like a hawk. Let them watch. If they don't come correct, we don't accept. Yeah, they're, they're receiving judgment, which is, this is clarity from the divine. They know your connection now. This is clarity from the divine. They're finally realizing that you are a soulmate twin flame connection. They know that now. They refused your, your cup of love in the past. Uh, now they want to come forward um, and give you this solid offer. This is slow moving energy. You guys, if you know this person, you have been waiting a long time. Um, they do want to bring justice into the situation now. They want to give equally. They want to express to you how much they do care and apologize for their bad behaviors in the past. They do view you as the world. Um, they, they see you as their everything. Oops. They know in the past they juggled you. They made you feel like an option. They juggled you. They made you feel like an option. And this is why they have anxiety. This is why they've been staying up at night. Um, because they know that um, they could have missed an opportunity. And they may still have missed an opportunity. They're moving away from those things that don't serve them into calmer waters. And they're coming in, leveling up as the king of pentacles, which is very grounded and stable. Someone that wants a commitment that will be loyal to you. Yeah, this is their, their regret because they know you are their happiness. You know, this is them making the choice to finally move away from people, places, and things that aren't for their highest good. You are their nine of cups. Everything they ever dreamt or desired, that's what you are to them. And this is them turning their back on the past, waiting for their ships to come in. Coming forward as a king of wands, very passionate, very spiritual, very loving. They view you as their queen of pentacles. Um, grounded, secure, 
stable, someone that they, they want to be in union with. Um, it is a faded union. It's caused them a lot of heartbreak. Um, a lot of heartbreak, their own actions cause them heartbreak. A lot of internal conflict and external conflict in their life, they do see you as someone that they want a commitment with. This burden has been heavy for them because they've been in denial about this. Now they want to come forward and offer this cup of love. This is the third king. Um, they do have a lot of passion for you. This is the nine of wands. Um, they're coming in with a lot of passion. They are manifesting this happiness with you. They see you as their complete happiness. They are wounded from their past, but they want victory and they will rush in to give you truth and clarity about all the suffering that they've endured in their past and to give you this cup of love, a brand new beginning, a divine union filled with divine love. They see you as beautiful. They don't, there's no one else that compares to you. No one. That's pretty amazing, guys. I'm gonna do a couple of the angel oracle. And then our angel wisdom and then a couple of the angel answers. first card. This is the two of wands. This is taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices, partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continue to move forward. And the clarifier is ask for help from others. So this is you um, going after your own passions, placing all your focus on you. And God is bringing people into your life that are in alignment with you. This is soul family, soul tribe. So they're gonna be available to you for that kind of uh, support. So the next one is renewal. Uh, it says, reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness, time to head in a new direction, clarity on your life purpose, in your heart you know what to do. So this is an alignment with you finally receiving the truth that will be painful to hear, but will allow you to release the past and move forward in a way that's in alignment with you. <laughs> Ask your angels is the clarifier. And the last card is the empress, which I love this card. It says, time to take action, give birth to your dreams. Creative, project, jo ugh, creative projects will be, your, will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. And then improving health. So once you're finally able to release the past, not only will your health improve, your confidence will improve, your financial security will improve, and your love life will improve. It's just gonna take a little time, that's all. And it's been hard, but you're at the end. You're at the end of this cycle, guys, and I know you can do it. Okay, I love you, and if you guys want a personal reading, uh, for the month of June, I am discounting my 20-minute readings um, by $20. So that'll be going on for the entire month of June. You can text me, 859-307-1381, and I can forward the information to you and um, see about getting you scheduled. I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.